Hello everyone, this is Lexi. It is the frigid beautiful month of January and I'm here to talk about uh, week one of the Praxis Philosophy module. Now we had a lot of content to take in this uh, this week and it, this month really. It's opposed to last month where we were making all the content for the blog writing uh, deliverables. This, this month we are taking in content written by others, specifically about philosophy, like ways of thinking, ways of doing, you know, it, you, you probably already have a pretty good idea about what I mean by philosophy. But, um, so, for this video I am going to give a little bit of my personal insight and experience relating to one of the articles that we read. Um, coincidentally, the very first article was the very strongest, uh, the very first one to very strongly resonate with me. It is the Give It Five Minutes article by Jason Freed. Um, and I'm going to share a little personal experience uh, relating to this article, not, not not while I was reading the article, I was actually at the airport when this happened, but I'm going to kind of use this experience and um, form some kind of consensus about it. So here's a little bit of background to this story. I was in Florida from the 18th of December to, well, the 5th of January. I was supposed to go home the 3rd, but I'll get into that a little bit later. Um, I was there for the holidays, visiting family, going to parties, you know, getting some sun as opposed to the bleak, gray-skied weather of Bethesda, Maryland, anyway. Um, so it came time for me to return home. My flight was at 1 o'clock on the 3rd, 1 o'clock p.m. I got to the airport about an hour and a half early, just as, as one does, so you don't, so you're not late for your flight. And I'm sitting at the gate, and... I keep getting delayed flight notices uh, for my flight specifically. At first it was an hour, then it was two hours, then it was three, then it was six, then it was nine. And you know, if you've ever been in that uh, situation before, it's not very fun. Um, so it was me and probably about 30 other people in this situation getting periodically more and more frustrated. And the person who got the most frustrated was this, I would say, early 50s staunch suit wearing businessman. And he approaches the lady at the gate. And this the way he's walking over there, just with, with this like exasperated look on his face with his tiny suitcase and computer, I immediately thought, oh, here we go. Cause just looking at him, you knew he was gonna make a stink. And he goes up to this lady and is basically bullying her that he has somewhere important to be. They should put more effort in getting the plane on there. Tell all of these people. And he brought everybody, he gestured to everybody, including me who was sitting there and told her basically, tell all these people that you're not doing your job. And he was, being a menace to this poor woman who would, who could not do anything about the situation and she had to try to very calmly uh, uh, make the situation not as intense. And I was sitting there with a look of disbelief on my face, like how, how could anyone think it's okay to speak to anyone like that? So, let's get into, or let's get back to rather, the reason I'm saying, I'm telling you this story. This man could have benefited from the give it five minutes approach. Why? Okay, so this is all speculation because I have no idea what he was thinking. But if he would have just sat down and thought to himself, is yelling at this woman, bullying her into submission, really going to help my situation at all? Is this going to make the situation any better? Yes, I'm busy. 
Yes, I have somewhere to be. Yes, I'm frustrated. But is my method really going to work out? Is it going to do anything for me? And if he had just sat there, depending on his personality, the person he is, and come to think of it, maybe maybe it would take him more than five minutes to just sit there and cool down, that he would maybe realize that this is not the best approach to a situation like this. And I think if more people, in, in as frustrating as this situation was, if more people would just sit down and think before they go up and start, like, being aggressive towards someone, is this going to help me? Then it would, not to sound cliche, but I think it would make the world a much better place. People would be less argumentative and perhaps belligerent if they just sat down and thought about how the other person would feel if this, if you went up and did that to them. This is, yeah, I said earlier, of course, this is all just speculation. I don't know what the guy was thinking. But the situation could have been much less stressful for a lot of people if he had just sat down and waited five minutes. So that's my little anecdote uh, relating to the article. Um, I hope it was not funny, but a little bit entertaining. I, you can just let me know how well I did with that. Um, I will be making another video next week about a different article, and about a different way of thinking, a different philosophy. You get the idea. All right. Thank you for listening. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.